me show you one of my favorite ways to make meatloaf. It's gonna come out so tender and flavorful. To make this meatloaf, here are the ingredients we'll be needing today. We'll be needing some Worcester sauce. I have my mushroom roasted garlic and mushroom soup. Cream of roasted garlic and mushroom soup. I have my Parmesan cheese, my Lipton onion soup, my panko berry breadcrumbs. I also have the thyme. We have some eggs, bell peppers, onion, and of course my grounded beef. And last but not the least, my parsley. Then some salt and pepper to taste. Come with me, let's make this deliciousness. Add your tomato sauce. Next thing we'll add is our Worcester sauce. We're going with our thyme. I'm also adding my Lipton onion soup powder. Parsley, some salt, pepper. We're also going to go in with our panko breadcrumbs. The last thing we're going to add is our eggs. We're going to mix all this together with our hands. And please make sure you wash your hands and they are clean. If not, you can wear some gloves like I have and make sure everything is mixed together. All right, after you have mixed all of this together and everything is well incorporated, you're gonna add the pack the meat in your baking pan. So my meatloaf it nicely into two loaf pans and we're going to stick it in the oven at 375 for 50 minutes. There goes our meatloaf. We're going to keep it in here for 50 minutes at 375. Okay, so for our gravy, that's going to go at the top of our meatloaf when it's done. We're going to add our cream of mushroom with roasted garlic in here. Guys, make sure you wash the top with some soap and water. You know the grocery store got all kinds of rodents and animals running through pissing and everything. So make sure you wash it and keep it clean, guys. I always wash it with some soap and water. We're gonna add some of our Onion mix, some of Penalizer's all purpose seasoning, and a little bit of beef broth in here. Not too much, just a tiny bit of beef broth. Make sure you mix all of this together until they all well incorporated and set it aside until your meatloaf is done. Alright guys, I just took my meatloaf out of the oven and that will be there for 50 minutes. This is what it's looking like. We're going to add our gravy on the top and this is the gravy that I mixed earlier. I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic powder in there as well. Go in there with a little bit of garlic powder and a pinch of black pepper. And you, you want to taste your gravy after you add a pinch of black pepper and taste your gravy to make sure that you do not need any extra salt because those packets sometimes have salt in them. And so that's what you, you should do. Taste your gravy. Mm. I don't think I need any more salt in mine. I'm just going to spread this on top of my meatloaf. Mm. 
we're going to stick this back in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. to be served. Here's our uh, meatloaf. We're putting it back in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Alright guys, so our meatloaf is ready. Look how the gravy looks so good. My goodness. Hello guys. Here is Delicious moist meatloaf. We paired it with some mashed potatoes and broccoli. How delicious is this? It smells so good. Cannot wait to dig in.